He is bloated. I mean, you could tell this guy's like partied a little bit too much. He's got like a big bloated look like, ugh, step away from the booze. And um, he is now dating a teenager. Leonardo DiCaprio. This lady's just up talking shit. Off rip, just talking shit about Leo's appearance. Who cares if he wants to date a younger broad? He doesn't want to date you. Big deal. Look at you. Could you imagine if Leonardo DiCaprio just came out and just assassinated her appearance? It was like, look at her. She looks like a Kardashian-Jenner remake. She looks like she'd kick my ass. Looks like she'd roundhouse me for saying the wrong word. I mean, look at her. Look at that fucking haircut. See how that feels? Do you imagine? Just Let's just assassinate somebody's uh, appearance real quick. It's like, you think Leo could trust these women? Of course he's just going to have sex with younger, beautiful chicks. What else is he going to do? Go, oh, this older broad loves me for me. Not because I'm Leonardo DiCaprio and all the stuff I've done. Let's see what this idiot's got to say. I mean... Respectable TV lady. These guys are all looking at her like, you're nuts. Who is now 48 years old. He looks almost as bad as Madonna. He is bloated. I mean, you could tell this guy's like partied a little bit too Disgusting. much. He's got like a big bloated look like, Ugh. step away from the booze. And um, he is now dating a teenager. Damn literally right. a teenager. She's 19. He's in the news every week for how he won't date anybody past age 25. If he does, it makes news. And now he's actually gone down to a teenager. She could literally be his daughter. And I, I don't know. She's gorgeous. And it's, okay, great. She's a model. Of course, they all are. I feel like this guy, from the rate of things, is never going to know the joy of like meeting somebody who he can fall in deep love with and build a family with. He's just going to keep banging teenagers for the rest of his life. I don't know. Maybe there's some version of guy. You know, like, <laughs> like, how are you doing? You make it, you make it sound so horrible. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't strike me as something to emulate. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is literally my idol. <laughs> it's an AI guy's idol classic. Um, this woman, she just, I know she's got a job to do that probably, you know, she's got notes. She's got to read. I get that. She's like a news lady, but, um, I don't know why she cares so much. It's like, if women want to date older men, let them date older men. You know, if men want to date other men, let them date other men. If a dude wants to become a woman, whatever. See what I'm saying? Isn't that where the world's going? You know, Bud Light, freedom, gay. Why can't we just have a gay old time here? I don't understand. It's, you know what it is? Is like this chick obviously was very good looking most of her life. She still looks pretty good minus that surfer cut haircut but it's like it's like if this woman was really in you know married and had kids and everything she wouldn't even give a shit she wouldn't even care anyways i don't know the only man who knows what it's like to not get an emotional connection with a divorce lawyer because his ex-wife wants to leave him penniless in his bank account you really know the anger of many women with this man because he makes it very clear that the garden won't always be green, that when the woman turns 25 with all the power of hypergamy that he can possess thanks to his position, he can discard them. That's what hurts these women, that he rubs it in their faces, that he can have the woman he wants, that he doesn't look for the empowered 30-year-old woman with sex. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's like the women getting butt hurt over this, they're probably single with no kids. I mean, that's just, it is what it, it, that's what it is. It's like, what, you don't want a successful man in your life? What? You know, sh she's acting like she doesn't have, she acts like she doesn't have standards. Gotta look good. Gotta make enough money. Charismatic or Riz, whatever the hell you call it. These, whatever. It's gotta be 27 different things. It's like, this dude doesn't care. He's like, no, he's just got to be young and hot. He's got two requirements. <laughs> Dude's got two requirements. She's freaking out. I'm going to just kick her right in the head. Academic titles and millions in the bank. Metaphorically speaking, of course. But for the pretty 20-year-old model who doesn't have any studies, but 
who is beautiful, young, and fertile. They want a woman who is extremely sexually explorative. Are you ready for my take? Okay, Jasmine, I appreciate that you may have had a particular personal experience with older men and they may have been predators, but older men do not seek out younger women to date because they want an extremely sexually explorative woman. Older men who are healthy are seeking younger women because they're supposed to be more sexually pure. They're supposed to have less sexual partners. They're supposed to have less baggage, less trauma, less drama. And ultimately, they should respect them more because a lot of older women become jaded. I completely agree with this woman that a man can work his 20s to 30s creating his own path in life, his wealth, and his status. Once he gets to the position where all women want a man, among the 20% of men who make six figures, who have their own house, a nice car, can go on exotic trips, have their own business, a good physique from the gym, and have their life totally in order after achieving all that, why should the reward be to settle with a woman over 30 who can't give him a child? Who's okay. So this AI guy is spot on. I mean, for the most part, you know, if I started dating, like for instance, my girlfriend now, she's got, she's been in like three relationships one of them of which she cut off super soon because she was like, this guy sucks. He is not a good, you know, it's a toxic thing. So, but she's never once been like, I've had so much trauma from my last relationship. No, she doesn't have that. That's, that's not what we want. The last thing we want is some chick who's been with 50 dudes. Guys, am I tripping? Could you imagine that? Hey, Mike, this is my girlfriend. He's like, oh, hey, Jennifer. He's like, yeah, I fucked her last spring. She's a great time. You know what I mean? Like, we don't want that shit. Just like a woman probably doesn't want some dude who's just fucked 300 chicks. You probably don't want that. You know what I mean? Like, or maybe you do. But... I don't know why these went this woman's spot on though, man. She, you know, for the most part, I mean, and women can have kids in their thirties. Like it's, it's possible. My parents had me late, but it's definitely harder. Um, and <sighs> some of these women are just bitter, man. Her whole life in a carousel going out with the chads and who comes with trauma from those men because I have to settle with what nobody else wanted boundaries her goals her values all of yeah another thing too like when you meet a chick who's you know 30 or over and she's still single like you couldn't have kept not one dude really were they not good enough for you probably not most men will put up with a lot of shit i mean what's the divorce rate you know women are the ones who do the divorce not men we're sitting there willing to thug it out We'll be like, it's rough. We haven't had sex in six months, but I still love her. I mean, it's 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 sad, but a lot of these broads. I'm I'm 33 right now. I'm really curious to see when I'm like 45 how many single women there are. I mean, Prozac is going to be. We should probably invest in Prozac, depression med medication. That's a great idea. We, if we can, I'm gonna invest in some of that today. Actually, tonight, just throw like a thousand in there. I'm telling you, in ten years, stocks are gonna be skyrocketing. No offense, <laughs> but come on now. Those things. But if you ask a man if he's gonna pick a woman the same age or like two years younger than him, and a woman who's ten years younger than him with all of the other same character traits, of course he's gonna pick the younger woman. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I agree with you. A lot of people frown down on like dating down, but I think like five to ten year age gap is perfect because. Have you ever dated a woman the same age as you, like in your 30s? Or if you're even if you're in your mid-20s, um, at some point in the relationship, if you're both 25, there's going to come this phrase out of her mouth. I'm the same age as you. Or even worse, I'm older than you by six months. Don't tell me. It's like, that's the most accurate thing you've said in our entire relationship. 
but it does not mean you're right. Um, and I'm not saying men are perfect either, but right guys, <laughs> am I wrong or am I tripping? Leave your thoughts down beneath. What do you think about, should you date a chick the same age as you? My thoughts? No, you shouldn't minimum, minimum three years younger than you minimum. I mean, it just, it comes down to a respect thing. I understand there's an exception to the rule. Like, one of my boys, his chick's two years older than him, but they're like a perfect match. And she makes a lot of money. He secured that broad. And another one of my best friends, his chick's a year or two older than him, but they're like this crazy thing, you know? So you'll know when you meet the right one, but typically, like, I don't know, leave your guys' thoughts down below. Like, what do you think? Should you date? The younger, my opinion is five to ten years younger. It's my opinion. So y'all leave your thoughts. If you like the video, subscribe, all right? You know, help the channel out. Leave your two cents. You know, throw me a few bucks. That's great. I'm just kidding. Just like it. Leave your thoughts. Comment. It'll help the uh, it'll help the channel grow. And this channel is pretty cool, too. The wall. You know, if you want to go listen to an AI guy, get in there. It, they'd rather date younger women because older ones are damaged and they don't want to deal with all that baggage. One, it's clear you don't have empathy for yourself to recognize that everyone's damaged, including you. And if you say, no, I don't let things bother me, you're lying. You probably can't even access where you were hurt since childhood because us women who have dated older guys, while in the beginning it might seem like <coughs> everything's fine, and you have everything taken care of, when you start peeling back the layers in a long-term relationship, you see he's got stuff. And who's willing to put up with that stuff? That woman. You just want the easy route of not doing the work on your- No, I'm sorry, but this, this broad's way out of line. No, I'm throwing a flag on the field. No, the difference is, is us guys, we don't hold on to that forever. Ladies like to hold on to stuff for the rest of their life. You know, they're carrying like a purse. They keep all of it in the purse. They got notes in there. You say one wrong thing to them. They go, oh, yeah? Well, 2007, March 15th, Jebediah said this, and then he hurt my feelings, and I can't trust you anymore. It's like they hold on to it for the rest of their lives, and then they keep going for the same dude. It's like, could you imagine just keep going for the same broad every time the same chick who just can't let it go or has been through so much stuff i've been through so much stuff you don't know what it's like to be a woman jack no shit just like you don't know what it's like to be a man at least we let shit go we let shit go and we don't let it affect our entire future some men do called alcoholics drug addicts or they're homeless on the side of the road you know but for the most part this lady's got it completely wrong it's like no one's gonna date you with that coming out of your mouth jesus sorry just got a little hot i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm tripping maybe i'm hurt and having low intimacy a man who is dating a younger woman is suffering inside because he has things to fix from his childhood that he hasn't done as an adult. How silly does that sound? <laughs> I can imagine DiCaprio crying inside every time he's with his 20-year-old model. Yeah. That man is suffering, paying for all his sins with his 20-year-old model. That man is suffering, paying for all his sins with her because he's dying inside, brother. I can only tell you that if that's hell, take me there too. I deserve to suffer Come like that. Baby. With a beautiful 20-year-old model. God, what a great punishment. Don't forget about me, another sinner. A 25 year old man and she's a 25 year old woman who's been with you since she was 19 years old. I want every young woman under the age of 27 to mm -hmm. go back and watch that clip. Because okay. when the old dusty pot belly has powdered milk for sperm males yep. come on the internet talking about they want younger women, this is exactly why they say that. Because they want to control you. They oh, want to yeah. be able to use your youth, mm -hmm. your young hips and your young womb. They want to siphon your beauty. Those type of predators look for younger women who have not had their prefrontal cortex developed. Predators 
Did you see her nails? Yo, she kind of looks like the Grinch a little bit. You see how that feels when you make fun of somebody? This is what they always do. They make fun of you out the gate. They go for appearance first. Look at her. She looks like the Grinch. And she acts like one, two. All right, let's listen to what she's got to say. She sounds stupid, though. She sounds upset, and she sounds single. She's ready to mingle, gentlemen. <laughs> Next time she opens her mouth, better be one of your cocks in it. That's my bad. So they assume those young women are a lot dumber and they can control them with their money. Yeah. Those type of men ruin women. That Makes grandpa sense. ruined that young woman. And if she was to get into a new healthy relationship, then that man's going to be like, I don't want to deal with your baggage. Even though she the looks theme like the here Grinch. is the moment you fuck with a man, your value goes down because they're the baggage. Young ladies, please do not fall for this trap because they are not the prize. They're peasants. Why what? do men get labeled as pre- What? Oh, some of these broads out here are just way out of line. They're peasants? Really? Do you see your nails? Don't freak out. <clears throat> it's all good, baby. All right. And guys, just so you know, there's plenty of good women out here. All right. We're just making sure we know what to look for. And we got to hold people accountable, including us. All right. So if you're, one of the, if you're somebody out there who actually dated that chick in a long-term relationship, God, I You poor thing. You're hurt. And now you need somebody better. When younger women are the ones chasing after older men, there this are TikTok true. videos where women in their 20s to 28s say they like men in their mid-30s and up because it provides stability, love, and a family. Why do these women punish these men by calling them predators? But I bet if the same man goes and woos her, then you hear her saying, I found the love of my life. The perfect man God had saved for me. But if he goes with a younger one, he's a man who can't handle one of his own age. Like one wants to carry all the drama these women bring. Why do men often seek younger women? Younger women are still very present in their femininity. I agree with this woman, but here's a little bit of nuance to this. First and foremost, men of all ages find younger women, early mid-twenties, to be physically ideal, not necessarily a preference. Secondly, it's only a small percentage of older men that can get younger women. So I don't know why this is such a big topic. It doesn't really... It's a very tiny percentage, dude. I mean, it's like a woman saying she wants... Dude who's six seven. Well, that's a bit extreme. Dude who's six three. Perfect. Charming. Charismatic. Okay? Nice ass. Perfect calves. It's like good luck. Good luck. It's like, yeah, I want a I want a chick on five seven or under, right? Well, I don't want them too short, okay? But like five two to five seven. Perfect ass, nice titties, cute face, fit, no tattoos. No, the nail thing, those big nails, no, can't have those. And respects her parents. It's like, good luck with that, you know? It's He's got a good point, though. It's like, how many older dudes are able to pull a 27-year-old? I mean, a 24-year-old. Not many the vast majority of the population male or female and more to the point of what this woman's getting at younger women being more feminine short version is life has not hardened them because the phrase emotional maturity and this goes for men and women alike it's really more of a euphemism meaning they've had a hard life made a lot of mistakes and now they have a lot of baggage to go with that but it does not mean they're emotionally healthy psychologically sound or otherwise a good choice for a life partner so for the older man with options why wouldn't he choose the 25 year old version versus the 45 year old version with all the baggage and hardened life experience i completely agree with this brother it is true that not all older men can go out with a young woman not all of them are among that 20 percent of men and not all of them are physically taken care of you know what it just comes down to these these women didn't secure a dude when they could have and now they're old and alone and they're upset and they're bitching on tiktok and it's amazing entertainment i love it you know I just hope that these kind of videos, I know most of us are dudes watching this, you know what I mean? But um, I think the more of these videos that come out, hopefully down the road, women catch on to this and they go, oh, 
Right. You know what I mean? But we have to have standard as men, too. Like, you keep just bagging and tagging these broads. It's You just add them to the problem. Okay? How do I know? How do I know? Do you know how much ass I've lost out on because I was honest? And I said, this isn't going further than sex. And if you're okay with this, we'll continue. I've literally said this to a lot of women. And guess what happened? We made out. Maybe I got an HJ. Maybe a ZJ. And that was about it. But some of these broads out here, the respectable ones, once they get, you know, if you just, if I were to just pl played them out, Nolly, don't you touch that camera. If I were to have just played them out and just pretended like I was about to date them, had sex with them, and then just dumped them, I would have just fucked that up for the for another good guy who who wanted a relationship like she did, you know? So I took that risk for my community. It's It sounds stupid, but I just, I, I don't know. I guess uh, if I'm just one extra person out there with a little self-respect for myself and other people, you know, we can, uh, we can make this world better. Now, like, come here, hurry up. Sorry, my cat is distracting me. She keeps wanting to touch the tripod. But I think we can make it a little bit better. It might sound corny. I'm a bit gay, but whatever. That is why brother married or divorced, young or single. As a brother, listen well. The gym is not negotiable. You always have to maintain a good image because it will always help you a lot as a man. That is why the man who can go for women in their 20s to 25s, because they have fewer traumas, have gone through fewer relationships, and do not want to live in a constant drama with their new partner. Plus, many men have gone through horrible marriages. They want to start over with a more feminine woman with whom they can have their dream family. But the question for you, do you think Leonardo DiCaprio is suffering with his new partner? Would he date a woman younger or older? If Now, Leo's, I think Leo's doing the right thing. I mean, if you get to a level like that, man, okay, we're talking to Titanic here, dude. We're talking Wolf of Wall Street. All right, we're talking all kinds of movies like when you get to that level if you didn't make it through all of that with the same broad already it's like good luck dude you're gonna find somebody it's like no they're just with me for me because i'm leo and i'm you know she just loves me for who i am it's like dude you can't trust nobody at that point it's like you're basically doomed you kind of have to have sex with 25 year olds i hate to say it but if that's the life you guys want you know get it man you know, I plan on being with my broad till we either A, die, or B, she leaves me. And if she leaves me, then guess what? Oh, well. I'm not going to let it affect me, you know? <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, man. Guys, subscribe. Like it. If you like the video and you like this, all right? Uncle Jack, I'm here for you guys. You know, and this is going to be some fun, man. We're going to laugh at this and we're going to learn a little bit. All right. And if you're a relationship guy or, you know, maybe you've given up on women right now, it's cool. Give up on it for a while. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it. You know, a lot of them out here ain't even worth it, to be honest. They're not. They don't make enough money for me. They just don't got it together. They're too old, you know. Anyways, good talk. Uncle Jack, back with another one. I'm going to watch, uh, I think this one's titled, what is we titled here? It's another channel, another of the wall channel. There's a lot of these wall channels, you know, they're just like faceless dudes though, so you don't know what they look like. It's like, are these dudes even getting any ass? Where's the tits? You know what I mean? Well, we got the tits, but I'm basically just taking these people's content here, and I'm just making it my own, you know? This one's got like an AI generated fake dude talking. Like who knows if this dude, how much puss this dude's had in his life. Okay. I mean, look at me. Okay. I've been with at least seven women. Much more than that. Um, and I've been in a lot of relationships. I'm a relationship guy. So I think that's where kind of lacking in this community. You know, it's like, who's giving us this information? So I'm here to help you guys out, all right? Uncle Jack, 
like that friend slash uncle you've never had. 